For many people, the star of the show is the Lamborghini Aventador, provided by Lamborghini London. Now, Bruce, it's very striking in appearance, but apart from the appearance, what makes this car so special? Well, there are quite a few things. Um, first of all, the price point is um, is quite revolutionary. It's it's two hundred and fifty thousand pounds before extra equipment, which, taking into account the performance of the car, its weight, um, it, it is, it's, there's, there's no competition really. Um, 700 brake horsepower, these are the best statistics, just over 1500 kilos in weight, um, providing absolutely phenomenal performance. In addition to that, there's a, a carbon fiber monocoque, which is a, a first again for Lamborghini, created in-house. And so you, we've got this incredible rigidity in the body shell. So the sum of all these parts is, is something which really no other manufacturer has, a, has an answer to at this moment in time. Okay, well, it's a V12, I can tell that much, but I can't tell much more. It looks very stylish. What can you tell me about it, Bruce? Well, as we touched on before, it's um, it's 700 brake horsepower. Um, it's also um, very, very talky. Um, she, she's producing that uh, that BHP figure around about 6,500 RPM, so it's all delivered quite high up the rev range, but in spite of that, the power delivery starts, starts very low in, so throttle response is fantastic and it just gives that instantaneous shove in the back that you're looking for in a car like this. Um, in addition to this, as you can see, big change for Lamborghini. We've got inline um, onboard suspension here, which just, again, really revolutionizes the, the, the way the car handles. Um, and it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty much, the, well, it is the most powerful engine that Lamborghini has ever put in a road car. It certainly looks the business. Of course, one thinks back to uh, Miuras and things like that. Uh, first um, early early supercars built by Lamborghini. Um, this is a little bit more practical in spite of being such an outrageous yeah. car. It's a very good point you've raised. Um, it certainly is. In spite of all the, the performance potential, this is a car that if you do find yourself in a traffic jam in the centre of Rome for two hours, you're not going to boil over and end up in the lay-by. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a very good point. It's a modern motor car, competent in all respects. Absolutely right, absolutely right. And um, But the most important uh, part of it is, is the thrill factor and, and there's none of that missing, I can assure you. I can see that just looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific stuff. This looks like a pretty exciting environment. Uh, Bruce, talk me through, if you would, the, uh, the whole of this interior. Absolutely. Um, well, first of all, the instrument binnacle is a first for Lamborghini. It's entirely electronic, um, so you have different uh, displays that you can choose between. Predominantly it's dominated by a rev counter though and also a display for the gear change so the really essential information is directly in front of you. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> in addition to that there's a very sophisticated media system which provides you with navigation but obviously also uh, a considerably improved audio setup over the previous Murcielago. Mm -hmm. um, the gearbox is obviously extremely important and with this car um, it's an entirely new gearbox um, offering three modes now. Um, Strada which is standard street driving, Sport which um, basically gives you a, a faster gear shifting, um, it also gives you um, the option to take the car to the red line and in fact to the rev limiter without the gear change automatically changing. Mm -hmm. And finally Corsa which effectively almost neutralises the traction control as well as providing the very fastest gear shifts available. So you've got a lot of choices there, a lot of different modes uh, that will be appropriate for different driver conditions. Um, on a kind of more dramatic, more sort of conventional uh, Lamborghini side of things, um, if you lift that red flap, there's the start-stop button. So clearly all, all giving you a bit of uh, uh, theatre there. Exactly. <laughs> the, the very word I was going to use. <laughs> which, uh, which, which is fantastic and very Lamborghini really. Um, otherwise, it's just using the highest quality leathers, beautifully trimmed and finished, no creaks or rattles. Um, it, it's just a, a marvellous place to be, really, where you can have a lot of fun, clearly. Is it, uh, when you first drive it, uh, do you feel uh, intimidated at all by it? Well, <clears throat> I think the fact that it is so low and, and is so wide, um, yes, there is that initial impression, but because the car is so manageable and so easy to drive, ultimately, that, that quickly disappears, and, 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 and very, very, very quickly indeed you find you're just enjoying the car and, and starting to, uh, to play with it. Well, striking it most certainly is. Uh, Incredible to look at. It's it's intoxicating. It's sensuous. It's everything. But is is this styling based on aerodynamics or is it just the wow factor? I think with Lamborghini, it's always a combination. Uh, clearly, in order to get the sort of performance and and the safety that the car needs to provide, there are, aerodynamics play a very large part in it. But 
it is nevertheless an absolutely dramatic car and that's always very high on the brief for Lamborghini designers. Um, the car is, is completely different in every respect um, from the outgoing Mercy Alago um, and, and effectively every panel is different. Um, it's a combination of a carbon fibre and aluminium finish and um, yeah, what can you say, it's very difficult to uh, describe really uh, other than use the words you've used, the language you've used to, uh, to represent the, the styling of the car, so yeah. It's and it's gone down well, I gather sales are looking pretty positive? It's been extremely well received, um, the, certainly the biggest forward order list for V12s we've ever known. Uh, we're now, 70 people are now confirmed with forward orders for this car for, for London alone, so it's, um, it's really caught the imagination of everybody who's, who's got involved with it and um, we're delighted. It certainly looks an amazingly exciting car. Thank mm. you very much.